What is going on, everybody? This is 2020 Topps Museum Baseball Sick Box Half Case Break Number 10. Pick your team sold out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. Here's a list of teams. Last spot mojo goes to the White Sox. Stephen P. Thank you, Stephen, for filling it up. Frank, you were a part of the McDavid number block? Yeah, I mean, that's like uh, that's like being at a no-hitter game, you know? You're not the pitcher throwing the no-hitter, but you got to witness it, and you could at least say, you know, you were there. Or that maybe a better analogy would be like you're on the team, like you're the third baseman on a no-hitter. Uh, there's a last video marked these boxes, number 10. You're like a teammate of the no-hitter pitcher, the perfect game pitcher. But yeah, that was, I mean, the fact that that break took like, I think it took like a week and a half to fill up. That's why we had to do all those number blocks. Jason and me, we're trying to tell, and Joe, we're trying to tell people that, you know, that was a nice break. You had, uh, now that, 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 that break would be like double the price now. If those cases have gone way up. But, there was like a, I think 14, 15, 15, 16, and then 18, 19. Nice, Stephen P. just filled the Chronicles. So all the Chronicle people, thanks, Stephen. That'll be my last break of the night. The uh, the pack filler and then the Chronicles break. And the museum people can thank Stephen because he filled up this museum too. So double thanks. And Jaspies thanks you. And yeah, just so everyone knows, reminder, USPS has been pretty bad delayed. And especially in the LA area, they're not scanning in stuff when uh, we give it to them. So whatever day that we printed the label it shows on there, that's when uh, USPS came to pick it up. So keep that in mind, especially on like new stuff like this. Louis Robert, base, uh, bronze, it's a nice one there. Last about Mojo, Stephen P. There's Ortiz, Acuna, Pete Alonzo. And Relic number to 50, Max Freed. Braves, Randy. Should have a framed autograph in one of these six boxes. I feel like it's not in one of these packs, so it might be in a different box, unless it's a redemption, I guess. Whoa. Maybe we do have it in this. Is it a wooden frame? Ontar's one of ones? Look at that. Did I show it? I might have showed the, the team already. I didn't even see it coming. So we have a wood frame one of one auto coming up. I think Teddy just hit one too. The museum hot at Jaspies. All right, we got a Jordan to 50. Buster Posey, Altuve, Joey Votto. Lorenzo Cain, eight of 99, just opted out, but still a great player there for the Brewers, number 99, Scott P. Schmidt, Schmidt, Larkin. Got Jackie Robinson, Canvas, free production. And Mike Soroka, dual relic to 199 auto for the Braves. That is Randy. Alright. You can see on the top screen there Jack Flaherty, Brennan McKay. Matt Chapman, Aaron Judge, a 
Good luck, everybody. Any guesses? Ah, it's too late for guesses. Too late for guesses. There's the 101 symbol. It is one of one wood frame gold ink auto Juan Soto. Wow, for the Nationals, Jack B. Congrats. Jack B, 101 Juan Soto. I'm a little shaky here. I think this is my first ever uh, wooden frame pit for museum. Very nice hit. Jack B, congrats. Juan Soto. Jack B was just saying earlier. Um, I wasn't in the McDavid break, but I tell my wife I was, so she gives me some slack to join in on breaks in search of money to buy her jewelry. Let's buy a nice, nice piece of jewelry, I'd imagine. Nice. Juan Soto, 101 Museum Framed Auto. Congrats. That'll be uh, going on the Instagram. Thank you, Jack. Appreciate it. Thanks for getting in. I was saying, I don't think the wood frame is in this box, but then, or the the metal frame is in this box. It's because uh, it was a wooden frame. It kind of caught me off guard. I heard Teddy just pull one, so I was like, there's no way there's another one. Even though they're totally separate cases, it's like pretty hard to pull that, but that's awesome. Congrats. I know, Joe. Joe likes the hashtags. Muy fuerte. In the chat. Let's get that trending. Adonde esta la biblioteca? Oh, you're testing my Spanish, Cali. Does that mean, I know La Biblioteca, that's library, right? Esta is what? Esta, hat, no. Estamos? I don't know, does it mean book it? Book it. No, okay. Oh, where's the library? Got it. Oh, I should have gotten that. It's late. We got him Kutchen, Yelich, Lindor, Big Hurt. There's a Mike Trout, Shohei Otani, Albert Pujols, and Justin Upton quad relic 13 of 75. That's going out to the Anaheim Angels and John McCall. I've been in, I, I'm not like a new LA guy, Joe. I've been here for nine years now. I would be considered an Angelino. You like that Spanish? When do you get your Angelino status? I guess we're, I, we live in LA County, though. Uh, the 299 Nolan Ryan. McGuire, McCutcheon, Stanton. 
There's Daryl Strawberry, 22 of 50. New York Mets, Richard A. Yeah, 2012, so I guess eight years. Has felt like nine years with this 2020, though. New York Mets is Richard A. Nice one. There's J Ram to 150. Correa. Gray. Goldschmidt. There's Joey Votto. Nice patch. We were just talking if uh, Joey Votto is a Hall of Famer, yes or no. 4 of 15. That's going into Cincinnati Red Steve Locke. Um, I was from New York. That's where I grew up. Like 40 minutes of uh, New York City in Westchester County, New York. There's a Yelly. Kershaw. Trevor Story. Ozzie Smith. And we got a little Jose Barrios. Uh, 10 of 25. He's got a nice autograph. That's Minnesota Twins. That is Jarrett K. MVP Carlos Correa. Yeah. Joe would disagree with you there. And yeah, just remind everybody, we have uh, gotten another customer service person, but like I said, with the USPS backlogged, I've been trying to respond as quickly as possible. You know, so obviously, try to give it a few business days. And like, if we have to open up a claim with the post office or anything like that, that could take weeks, so just try to be patient. What's up, Aaron? How's it going? Doing pretty good. Staying busy. So we got Chronicles up next. Basketball, we got to do the pack filler and then the break. And that'll be it for me tonight. I'll try to get some breaks posted tonight. I did it get up really early. I was watching Sean. Got up at like 4 a.m. I turned on the YouTube stream. Sean is still live. I think Teddy was still live at that time too. So I started watching and then I couldn't fall back asleep. So I've been I might pull a 24 hour shift here. But I'll try to get some stuff posted before I pass out after this. Uh, after the Chronicles. Jason will be live tomorrow on YouTube and Sean will be live on Instagram. Yeah, that's crazy, Aaron. I mean I shouldn't, at least me, you know, could be, you know, a lot of people unemployed these times, you know, so I am thankful there. But yeah, it's crazy, right? Oliver needs an ace hit. You know, a little Ricky Henderson or something. Jesus Luzardo. All right, there's Garrett Cole Yankees, 1099. Canvas collection reprint of Cal Ripken Jr. First hit from this one, Miguel Sano. Quad patch in there, nice. 14 to 75. That's going on to the Twins, Jared K. Walker Bueller, Andrew McCutcheon, 
Stanton Yelich. Steve Carlton, on card auto to 25. Nice one there for the Phillies. And Ray. Yeah, I mean, I definitely understand Rex. Like, like I said earlier, like I'm the last person that wants, you know, packages to not get scanned. We print out a uh, like a scan form every day we ship, and our mail person scans it. So I don't know what's what's the problem there. And there's Carlos Carrasco. 13 of 50. Cleveland Indians is Arthur. On the board. Relic. Then we got Altuve, Trevor Story, Ozzy Smith, Mark McGuire. And there's Yasmani Grandal. 152 out of 199. Chicago White Sox is Stephen Pete. Last bot mojo. Yeah, I don't. I, I'm. Yeah, I blame you know. The uh, kind of the system, not all the employees, definitely. But yeah, I mean, I guess there's just so many packages. It's really hard to hire right now. But yeah, I mean, we've been pretty much shipping right on time. Maybe a couple business days later than what we were pre-COVID. But yeah, I mean, but then you'll have someone, you know, sometimes people in Pennsylvania will get our package in like two days. So it's just kind of crazy. But, you know, we've been trying our best. You know, we could, you know, if if you get a high high dollar package, you know, just click the support button on our website or give us a call during our uh, business hours, business days. And, you know, you can get it. We can ship UPS. We can ship FedEx. We can ship uh, DHL we have an account with. You know, and we're not making any money on that. We charge you whatever they charge us, so... That's also an option if you have a very high dollar card, you know? If you don't trust the post office. Yeah, I mean, I've bought a lot of cards for our hip packs and stuff. Sometimes I'll get them in like two days. Sometimes it'll take weeks for me too. So, you know, I've been dealing with a lot of the issues that everyone buying from us has been dealing with. But yeah, I guess if if they started giving discounts, it would get almost worse, right? Because maybe they'd have to cut people or something, cut staff, which would slow it down. But yeah, I don't disagree with that whole thing, Rex. All right, there's Mariano Rivera, Cano, Whit Merrifield, Garrett Cole, Canvas, and Lucas Giolito to one ninety nine. Dual Relic Auto for the White Sox and Stephen P. Even UPS, which is a privately held company, um, even UPS, like we've gotten sometimes cases delivered. I think it was a month ago or so. We had a, you know, fifteen thousand dollar case get delayed like five days. You know, and the supplier we bought it from is in Orange County, which is like an hour drive. So it's just been crazy. George Brett to 150. Unprecedented times, at least in the internet era. era. 
There's a quad relic. I don't know what's in there. A little piece of uh, sticker or something. To 75, Boston Red Sox. Chris Sale, Devers, Bogarts, and Martinez. That's going out to Josh Bruce. Devers. Nick, what do you say about that? Uh... Cunha, Cabrera, Glaber, and Trey. I just, I don't want to, like, oversell it again. Okay, so not tonight? Yeah. Right. Sorry. Kinda. I smelled a skunk earlier. Five of ten, Max Freed. Maybe someone's burning trash outside. That's a nice patch there for Randy and the Braves. There's Pete Alonzo, Charlie Blackman, Ernie Banks, Aquino. And the final hit from this one is a Yasmani Grandal. 139 of 299. On card auto. Stephen P. Last Bob Mojo White Sox. Ron Cunha hit two for five, hit a home run today. He was kind of in a slump, at least for the first week or so of the season. So that's good to see him kind of break that today. Tuki Toussaint had a decent outing for the Braves. So I'm hoping baseball can continue. Rob Manfred said, uh, there's no reason for us to stop or something like that. All right. I mean, there kind of is, but we'll see, I guess. Yeah, Red Sox, I mean, yeah, Red Sox are kind of a mess. They have some great players, but yeah, I don't know what happened there. But yeah, as an Angels fan, I feel it too. And Will does too. Bellinger, Ripken, Vlad, Bo Bichette, Canvas. And we got a Ted Williams quad bat relic. Speaking of the Red Sox, 8 of 25. Going out to Josh Pruce and the Boston Red Sox. Yeah, the Angels pitching stinks. Their bullpen especially is, uh, is garbage. The starters actually haven't been that bad. Justin Upton sucks too. All right, there's Koufax 150, Roberto Clemente, Clemens, Bieber, Austin Meadows, Dual Relic Auto, Tampa Bay, number 199. That's going out to Jarrell. Hansel, yeah, I mean, the whole bullpen has been really bad. been a mess and they haven't been playing the best teams I mean Mariners A's are I guess A's are good but and then the Astros but definitely should have uh, won the A's ooh look at that to 25 little MLB logo man in there Justin Verlander Houston Astros Raymond it's a cool looking card There's Jose Ramirez, Mookie Betts, Chris Bryant, Garrett Cole, and Nick Solak Auto, number two ninety nine, Texas Rangers as Eric. Yeah, I could see Otani like pitching a gem tomorrow because nobody really expects it. I feel like he's one of those players where he's not like great under the spotlight. Although his first start ever at Angel Stadium was like a gem. 
almost a no hitter almost. But I feel like maybe that's part of the reason why he didn't go to like a uh, huge market team, like the Yankees or something. And it was his first start in two years. Never pulled a Babe Ruth cut autograph at Jaspies. Would love to, though. We actually gave one away at the National. We didn't pull it, but we gave it away. 2015? 2016. Yeah, Chatward had what? 14 strikeouts today, Rex? That's crazy. Pretty good. I feel like there's been so many pitchers on the Rockies system that could have been like really good, but they played in Colorado, so their stats kind of got messed up. I think he started in Colorado. This year, yeah, I, I don't think the nationals ha gonna happen in December. I know they're planning on it, but I wouldn't count on it. Although N New Jersey has been uh, pretty, I feel like uh, a lot less cases than it was a couple months ago. So. But even if there is a national, I'm not sure how many dealers would be traveling. All right, there's Machado to 150. Wow. How about two Jordan Alvarez autographs in this case, Raymond? I'm to 199. Triple Relic Auto. Plus, you get that cool Verlander. Dang. Nice break for the Astros. Jordan, 196 of 199. Max Freed, another Freed patch for the Braves to 25. Randy. Andre Dawson. And Aaron Hicks Auto, number 299 for the Yankees. TJ Leonard. Aaron Hicks, number 95 of 299. And final one here, we got a Blue Jay, number 50. That's nice. Bo Bichette. Aquino. Jordan. In the final hit, Starling Marte. Quad bat, relic 6 of 99. Luis with the Diamondbacks. So there you go. Really appreciate it. Thanks, everybody, getting in, especially those last few big teams, um, the people who took those. I know it wasn't the great best breaks for those teams, but appreciate you guys giving it a shot. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Uh, we'll have another. I think we might have one more museum case uh, Monday, maybe. So take an eye, uh, keep an eye out for that. We also have new baseball releases coming out this week. Luminaries Baseball. Remember last year we put the pulled the 50 autograph booklet that has over 100,000 views on YouTube. So if you haven't seen that video, go check that out and get excited for 2020 Luminaries coming out Wednesday. And then uh, the big release, one of the biggest baseball releases of the year. 2020 Tops Chrome Baseball that comes out on Friday, August 7th. So we'll have hobby, jumbo, um, personal breaks, and group breaks. So check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Appreciate it. Uh, see you next time.